the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and rock fans alike, welcome once again to your weekly rock windup. I am Nivens, and let's jump right into it with a little blast from the past, The Leopard That's Deaf, Deaf Leopard, revealing this week the title for their upcoming live album. This is the first one they've ever done. It'll be called Mirrorball, and speaking of these guys, they will be in Kansas City at the Sprint Center in August, uh, Saturday the 27th, with Hart as their opener. Tickets go on sale next Saturday. I will definitely be there for that show. I'm not making fun of it. I've never seen Deaf Leopard. I would like to see them, and I will see you there if you're going to go. And what would a weekly rock wind up be without his Ozness being mentioned? Ozzy announced this week as the ambassador for Record Store Day, which will take place April 16th. If you're familiar with it, uh, you know that basically uh, everybody that's a music aficionado knows the importance of the independent mom and pop record stores, and Ozzy will be the ambassador this year. You want more information? Go to recordstoreday.com. A lot of these places are going to have um, rare items that will be for sale from like you know everybody from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers to Pearl Jam to whatnot. So make sure you check out recordstoreday.com for more information. Rob Zombie in the news this week a couple of times. One, saying his uh, upcoming film, Lords of Salem, will be uh, his bleakest. And then uh, also announcing that White Zombie Reunion will never happen. I know we always get kind of nostalgic, uh, especially in the first of the year, about possible reunions, Guns N' Roses, you know, being one of them, as I've been rumored and chatted about. But Zombie putting the kibosh on any sort of White Zombie uh, reunion. Slipknot DJ Sid Wilson in the news this week, a.k.a. Starscream, working on a solo album. Now, this is going to have more fuel to the fire that Slipknot, as a band, recording-wise, is done. You know, Joy Jordanson's out with Murder Dolls. Of course, Corey Taylor out with Stone Sour, and it's still rumored to be the new frontman for Velvet Revolver. And now with Sid doing this, his solo project, and Clown launching his own website a couple weeks ago, it really is just adding some more, you know, like I said, fuel to the fire that Slipknot, as a recording band, will be done. Probably we'll still see him doing festivals and big, uh, you know, huge events and whatnot. But uh, in terms of making new albums, I guess we'll just wait and see. And then closing your uh, weekly rock windup this week, Ginger Fish, drummer for Marilyn Manson, retiring. He's been with uh, Manson since 95. Basically, he's broken like every single bone in his body while performing with Manson. And I think he's pretty much done with that. So uh, if you're a drummer, start sending your tapes and resumes to uh, Marilyn Manson, care of hell, 666. Thank you once again for tuning in to your weekly rock windup. Manson, it's just jokes, baby. Just jokes. You know, I got mad respect for you. Peace. <laughs>